everyone is doing great and today I have another tutorial to share with all of you and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you all how to make these cute shaker embellishments so lately I have been making tons of embellishments like by tons I mean tons of embellishments and I'll be sharing them very soon but this one I wanted to get done with it uh, a little earlier because uh, one of my subbies she requested me to make a tutorial on how I made these shaker thingies so let's get started so okay before I go over there I want to share one more shaker uh, style which I made but it's obviously the same concept but yeah this is another shaker embellishment which I have made and they are super 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 cute I am in love with these shaker embellishments I can use them in any of my projects and I'm doing a swap with a bunch of ladies so I'm planning to send them all a bunch of my handmade embellishments so let me get started and show you all how I did the whole thing so the first thing which you need is a die and this is the die which I'm using you can use any of the window dies like this this is like this you can use any of the window dies or you can even use two dies which are nested in each other it's quite simple so what I did was that I had no foam in my house left generally I use foam for it so I took a heavy cardstock and I had cut about three for each one of them three or four depending upon you know how thick you like this one is made with the three layers and as you can see the word forever can't be moved because it was a little tight so the next one which I did uh, you can see the kiss word it can move totally because uh, it had four layers so let me take four layers and then you all can decide what you guys want to do so this is already four layers so what I'm gonna do is the first thing which I'll do is that I'm going to stick them together using glossy accents and this is the die which I have used it is by Sizzix and it's called it's by Eileen Hull I remember but it's called I don't know what it's called I can look it up and tell it to you if in case you're interested but yeah this is the die which I'm using for this project I'm gonna take my uh, glossy accents and I am going to just spread it all around and layer by layer I am just going to put this all together yep. and this is the last layer so this is how my stacks of those heavy card stocks look like and I'm going to keep these aside the next thing which I am going to do is that I have had some transparencies acrylic or acrylic sheets so I cut down this circle which is slightly bigger than the circle which is inside this and I am just going to paste this on top of this so it's quite simple uh, using my glossy accents I am just going to paste it yep and this is done okay so once this is done I have cut down some papers uh, some beautiful designs and these all are I think Tanya Whelan yeah they all are Tanya Whelan papers uh, from uh, Bella Rose or uh, I think it's Bella Rose, yeah, Prim Tops Bella Rose and I'm going to stick this on top of this like this. I'm so sorry for the outside noise. I forgot to shut off my windows. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. Yep, and I am almost done with this part. And once this is done, I'm just going to turn this around and add my beautiful shaker embellishments so the first thing which you might want to do is uh, use these word beads and today michael's i was over with them and i rushed to michael's and got them uh, in a rush so i might use the word wish and i'm gonna keep it upside down so that the wish wish part is facing this side and I'm going to add some 
seed beads, some uh, of these uh, sequins. I have a lot of sequins with me right now. So I'm just going to add the sequins and I'm going to add some more seed beads. I like using them in my projects. They look my they make my project look very cute. And I like the noise which comes when you shake. And that effect is possible only with the help of seed beads. And let's add a tint of green also to it. Don't try to overfill it because then it might be a little difficult for it to shape. Okay, I'll let that go away. Uh -uh. I am extremely sorry for all the noise. I might do a voiceover. So, now the next thing is locking this up. So, I'm going to use this background, this floral background. And I will, maybe, you know, I will just put some glossy accent around it. Yep, and then just close it down. So once this part is done, I'm just going to turn it around and my shaker is ready. Isn't it cute? And the next thing which you can do is just take a bunch of flowers and I keep some flowers here in this uh, handy basket right in front of me and uh, i just use them whenever i wish to and uh, my projects are ready so i'm just going to add this like this and a simple and super cute embellishment is ready Okay, so this is how I've done my embellishment and it looks super cute and super sweet. This is another shaker embellishment which I did and there's another one which I did and this one I've already packed it and it looks like this. So yeah, I am in love with making these shaker embellishments. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video.